Welcome to my Pride Yoga Flow. Pride Month is a commemoration of the Stonewall Uprising of 1969. In the 50 years since Stonewall, members of the LGBTQIA community have celebrated many successes. As Pride Month comes to a close, we must confront the reality that our right to exist in America as equal citizens is under threat. Let's practice a flow which draws upon the strength of our predecessors to fight fear with courage and hate with love. Let's get into it. Find a comfortable seat and lower your lids or close your eyes. Rest one hand over your heart and the other over your belly. Feel as your chest expands and contracts with each breath. Observe the natural rhythm. Now lower your hands into your lap and shift your focus from your breath to your body. Bring awareness to each part of your body from head to toe and breathe. With each exhale, invite any areas of physical tension to release and relax. Invite whatever you've been holding on to, that which does not serve you, to exit the body on an exhale. Turn your attention from the outside to your own vast inner space. In the space you have cultivated, your yoga practice begins. Now slowly open your eyes. Sit tall with your sits bones rooted into the earth. Walk your left fingertips out to the left. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch on the side neck. We hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. Slowly guide your head back up and breathe in. Begin to walk your right fingertips out to the right. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Slowly guide your head back up and breathe in. We'll move into shoulder rolls. Begin lifting your shoulders up towards your ear as you breathe in, and then exhale, roll them down to the ground. Pause and reverse direction. Make the circle smaller and smaller until you return back to stillness. Place your palms facing down on your knees and use your hands and shoulders to rotate your torso around your pelvis. Imagine the bottom half of your body is a bowl and the top half is a spoon. Inhale as you move your torso forward, opening the shoulders and expanding your heart. And now exhale, tuck the tailbone and round through the shoulders and spine as you bring your chin to your chest. Empty out entirely on your exhale and really fill up your lungs with each inhale. Let's switch directions for three circles. Allow this movement to work your neck, shoulders, your chest, spine, and hips. Return to seated position in easy pose. Extend your legs out in front of you and give them a shake. Point and flex your feet a few times. Lift your arms and roll your wrists. 
roll your ankles around a little bit. As you inhale, spread your fingers and toes wide. Exhale and squeeze everything together really, really tight. Release your arms back to your sides. Bend your legs and plant your feet hip distance apart. Lean back and place your palms on the floor behind your buttock. As you exhale, turn to the right and drop your knees to the right. Breathe in and reach to the right corner of the room as you exhale. Let's repeat that on the other side in one graceful motion. Inhale, legs and torso back to center. Exhale, drop your knees to the left and reach to the back of the room. Return to center. Cross your legs in front of you into easy pose, Sukhasana. Lean forward and plant your palms on the floor in front of you. Walk them out and lean forward into them as you bend your elbows. Allow the buttocks to lift and roll your body forward, coming into table position. Adjust so that your knees are under your hips and your wrists are under your shoulders. Now tuck the toes of both feet. Let's move into a squatting toe balance to improve the flexibility in our ankles and toes. Bring your feet together and spread your knees, pressing your hands into the earth as you push your knees off the floor. Lean back into the balls of your feet. Heels should touch. Spread your legs wide and allow the belly to drop in between them as you walk your hands out toward the front of the mat. Take a deep breath in and lengthen through the torso and then exhale, stay here and sink into this stretch. Your head should hang heavy. On your next inhale, walk your hands toward your body and engage your core muscles to lift your torso upright. Stay here or find a focal point on the floor a few feet in front of you. Fix your eyes on that spot. Inhale and reach through your fingertips. Lift your arms up overhead. Bring the palms together in prayer. Lengthen through the spine and reach the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Your pelvis should be neutral and your tailbone extending downward. You're improving balance and developing core strength. Slowly bring your knees together, engage your abs, and gently rest your knees on the mat in front of you. Now sit back on your heels and steady your breath. Okay, let's move into our pride sequence. I chose this powerful flow because it reminds me of our shared journey through love. We start out introverted in our own little world of downward dog. Our journey unfolds and it requires strength to venture out, represented by plank pose. Then we shift our focus, bowing our foreheads down to the earth. Finally, we take a deep breath and lift ourselves up to bear our hearts with courage in upward facing dog. Let's get into it. We'll begin in table pose with toes tuck. Press into your palms, lift your hips, straightening your legs. Tailbone reaches toward the heavens. Downward facing dog allows the hamstrings, backs of the knees and calves to unfold and lengthen. Undulate forward, moving into plank pose. Exhale, lower your body to the floor. Inhale, press into your palms and lift your torso up. Exhale as you slowly roll back down, forehead to the mat. Let's return to table and settle our breath before we repeat that flow again. Correct your alignment here in table and then begin to lift the knees, pushing through the palms of your hands back into downward dog. Tailbone reaches toward the ceiling and pedal out your feet. See if you can drop your heels a little deeper this time. Roll forward into plank and then release down to the ground. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, 
forehead to the mat and breathe. Return to table on your hands and knees. Take a slow, deep breath in. Now exhale, bring your stomach to your thighs and then lift your tailbone to move into downward dog. Breathe in and roll forward into plank pose. And then exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale and lift into upward dog. Exhale, bring your forehead to the earth. Great job. Find your way to staff pose, sitting on your buttocks. Open your legs up about 90 degrees with your feet flexed and your kneecaps pointing straight up toward the sky. Inhale and lift your head up to the sky. As you exhale, begin to hinge forward from your hip creases, maintaining a long spine. Prioritize maintaining length in your spine over going deep into this pose. If your upper back tends to round a lot more than the rest of your spine, back out of the forward bend and focus on lengthening, leading with your heart. Breathe and allow each inhale to invite your body to reach further. Allow each exhale to invite your body to fold more deeply. Breathe in and lift up, walking your hands back toward your body. Slowly bring your legs together in front of you. Find your way down to the mat, lying flat on your back, preparing for our final Shavasana. Close your eyes and place one hand over your heart and the other on your belly. Feel your chest rise and fall as you breathe. Feel your body supported by the earth beneath you. Allow all the parts of your body to melt into the floor and breathe. Take a moment to notice the space you've created in your body and in your heart through this practice of love and acceptance. Yoga reminds us that we are all waves of the same sea, leaves of the same tree. Namaste. If you like my video, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel.